Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back once again to the Fat Cat Collection. Today, guys, I want to share with you another watch for the collection. Uh, this is a really inexpensive, uh, pretty fun watch, and this is by a company called Biden. Uh, yes, just like our president, um, uh, and no, no relation, of course. A lot of times, these Chinese names, I'm not sure where they come up with the ideas for some of these watch names, but we've seen it left and right. There's all kinds of names that we really like, and other ones that we, and I'm not saying that I don't like the Biden name, I'm just saying I like a watch to kind of be associated with a watch, you know what I mean? Uh, for instance, one of the watches I reviewed in the past by a brand called Neymar, a lot of people don't like the brand because of the name, when really, you're gonna get a really good value. Now, I'm not saying whether you should or shouldn't like this brand based on the name. Uh, you know, I, I think that you should really um, buy a watch for what you're getting, for the value, right? But everybody has different ideas is I'm always uh you know, I always like to have names associated with dive style watches that are ocean related. But nonetheless, it is called the Biden watch. Um, and um, I, the reason I bought this was because one, uh, it was super affordable. And I'm always looking to test out different quality levels uh, from your Ally Express watches. There's so many amazing watches coming out of Ally Express. And you know, there are different price points, of course, and there are different quality levels naturally, uh, like with, with any brand watch. But as well, it's kind of a fun watch. And the reason I bought it, was because um, when you're looking for men's watches, it's extremely difficult to find gemstone or, or blinged out watches, right? I guess it is kind of blinged out, I'm not sure why I put it in quotes, but you know what I mean, that, that whole uh, iced out watch, that whole iced out jewelry kind of look, a lot of times, a lot of the stuff that you get when it's labeled under that kind of classification, it's like really costume jewelry, you know? Uh, now, people can argue all day long about, you know, a lot of people consider it Invicta costume jewelry, right? Um, I totally disagree. I think there's lots of different quality levels and what I've said in a lot of different videos, uh, when it comes to watches, the quality differences as you start to go into the thousand dollar price range, the five hundred, the, 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 as your your price really starts to climb, um, the quality doesn't really climb with what you'd expect from the price. The quality climbs uh, very, very just in a really subtle way. And a lot of times those differences are microscopic. You really can't see or feel the difference. Now this watch is a little bit of an exception to that rule that I always say, right? There's lots of brands like Pagani Design, Tsen, Liji, despite some of the issues I've had with some of these different brands, right? I mean, it does happen. Um, all's well, it ends well though. Um, when we look at Bulvas and Invictas, there are different, again, different quality differences, but um, a lot of times when you have brands like, again, like Tyson, uh, Pro, your Pro Divers by Invicta, your Aragons, when we compare those watches side by side, there's really not a lot of quality differences, you know? There's gonna be differences with like maybe the mechanics, which movement does it have, maybe the crystal, but overall, uh, as long as the watch is made of 316 stainless steel and you're getting a decent movement in there, right? I mean, if we get a Seiko H35 or even a Seagull, just depends, you know? Um, you're, you're getting a pretty decent quality watch. And some things that we really look for, uh, when we hold a watch, those tangible things we can really feel. And remember, when I review a watch, when I talk about quality, I, I reference quality in a way that the average person with no knowledge about watches can actually see and, and feel, right? Those are the quality differences that to me say, all right, this watch definitely feels better, it's definitely, this watch, there's a noticeable difference. A lot of the differences that you see with these different brands across different names, they're on paper differences. You're not really gonna notice a sapphire crystal versus a standard you know, K1 or, a, or a acrylic crystal or uh, you know your flame fusion. You're not really gonna have a real world advantage. Now, unless of course you you're in a setting that you're you know you're 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 subjecting the watch to more uh, abuse, right? You might notice a difference then. But if you're just like me, just kind of wear a watch as you know as a fashion piece. Um, you know, of course, as, as something to tell time. I'm not playing in the dirt with these watches. You know, I generally, if I want to work on something, uh, depending on what it is, I'll take it off just to avoid, uh, you know, putting any scratch. I don't want to put a scratch in any of my watches, whether they're $10 watches or $1,000 watches, right? So, uh, but let's just say with the Biden watch, with this particular watch, there is a noticeable difference in quality. And when we start to, right off the bat, when you grab this watch, uh, without looking at the specs yet, without looking at anything, you're gonna feel that it's lighter weight, right? When you compare it to say like a standard Pagani design watch I have on my wrist. We all know uh, if you've been following me for a while and you like affordable watches, Pagani design is a fantastic quality watch uh, for an amazing price point. It's kind of my go-to for a, um, 
a Rolex Submariner style watch. Uh, even over Invicta, I just like what Pagani has a little more as far as their bezels and uh, the bezel inserts. And not saying I don't like the Invictas, but I, I tend to try to gravitate away from Invicta a little bit because I have so many Invictas. Um, when we compare these two watches, um, now I don't want this to come across like this is a, a really a crummy watch. It's not. The value on this, 38 bucks. Um, it's not an insane deal, but it's not a horrible deal either. What you're really paying for is the, the stones or the crystals in the bezel. And I'll tell you, I've looked, I'm always looking at watches. And if you want something that looks like this, you're probably not going to find it with other brands. It's very difficult to find two-tone iced out bezels and decent quality watches with men's watches. If we compare this to, let's say, a Hello Ice watch, there is a noticeable difference in quality. This is a lot nicer than a Hello Ice watch, right? And I have a Hello Ice watch and I enjoy it. It's all iced out, but that's you're paying for that look. You're getting a certain price point uh, and giving Giving you, you know, a lot of those those uh, those crystals or stones or cubic zirconias, whatever they may use, glass. Not really sure, but you know, that's ultimately what you're paying for. Um, and so, with something like this, you are getting a slightly better quality watch. I think when you put this on uh, and you compare it to like some of your those hip hop iced out brands, Pin Time, stuff like that, you're gonna find in that, you know. And price is not a good re a good indication of quality because when you look at like what a pin time costs on on Amazon, Amazon you're looking at you know 15 20 bucks you get a a, a, um, a hello ice you get 150 bucks and they're pretty close in quality although um, you know depending on which one you choose one might the stone job might be a little a little bit nicer right but we compare this this is definitely um, a nice looking watch now it is just a no name quartz movement uh, it's not a chronograph it's made to look like a chronograph of course I, I think we double check that. Yeah, so it's not actually a chronograph. Uh, these are just your function pushers for, I believe. Let's see if they're even. Yeah, so function pushers for. Let me double check that here because it's been a while since I looked at this watch. So from what I can tell, yeah. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, I misspoke. Um, it is actually a, a true chronograph movement, uh, which is just basically a stopwatch. So, uh, but it is a no-name quartz movement. Nothing wrong with that. But you know, I mean, coming in at a certain price point. Um, the stone job is actually pretty decent in this. Like, they look really nice. They're not all crooked. It doesn't appear like they're going to be falling out anytime soon. Um, I chose the black version. And when you feel this, though, the, 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 real, the, the real quality difference when you compare it, to, again, to like a Pagani or Pro Diver is it just feels a little bit tinny and feels a little bit light. Um, and, and not by an insane amount, but you could just tell that this is not 316 stainless steel, whereas like the Pagani, even though this is gold-plated, this is 316 stainless steel. And it does have uh, just a much better feel on the wrist, but that doesn't make this watch absolutely horrible. It's still an incredible value, and it blows my mind that you can get a watch like this for that price point you know you're having your gener your basic um you know stamped class it does say stainless steel on it but i don't believe that that's the entire band the band just feels uh, or the bracelet just feels you know and, and i could totally be wrong on this but it just feels a little bit tinny uh compared to some of the watches that that i own and the ones that i know are 316 stainless steel uh and you know uh but still i mean just an incredible value i mean if you're looking for something with those stones like i said it's very difficult to find watches that are that don't look like their costume jewelry. You know, in my opinion, a lot of those hip hop, you know, pin times, those watches you see on, you know, Ally Express and, and not just, I mean, this came from Ally Express, but a lot of those iced out watches by different manufacturers, when you put them on, they, they generally feel like they're very cheap watches. Whereas this, it doesn't feel as good as like a Pagani uh, or, you know, an Invicta or an Aragon or Bulova. But um, it is still a pretty incredible watch for the money. And I think it's a really, like I said, a really fun watch. I mean, if you look at what you get um, with other brands, if you're looking for something with, with rhinestones, gemstones, whatever the case may be, whatever the manufacturer may have used, I always go back to Invicta because they give you an amazing watch with that look, with using genuine gemstones. They're not just, you know, um, just cheap cubic zirconians. I shouldn't say cheap cubic zirconians. They're not just like pieces of glass. Where something like this, these obviously are, are not gemstones for that price point. They're probably just some kind of colored glass. But, you know, nonetheless, they still have a great sheen to them. And it's still a very flashy, good-looking watch. And when you put this on this, the wrist, if you have a guy who doesn't know any, really anything about watches, somebody's not going to pick this up and say, oh, man, that's really a crummy watch. They're going to be like, wow, that's Pretty nice. What would that cost? And when you tell them thirty-eight dollars, most people are gonna be like, "Wow, really?" I mean, it's just—it's just such a nice watch for the price. Um, it's pretty incredible. So uh, a little bit about the specifics on it, uh, just right off the Ally Express listing. And again, I will put the link in the description where you check this out. Uh, and I'll give you a few more close-ups in a second. 
Uh, the other watch I almost chose with this particular uh, model was they had the all black bezel version, which it's on my wish list here, uh, and I'll probably pick it up at a later date. But they do have the watch in black with the uh, obviously the the black and red stones, like I just showed you. They had the black on black on black. You get a yellow gold with like a rainbow bezel. <coughs> you can get it uh, with a uh, two-tone stainless steel and yellow gold. Uh, and then once you get past a couple of those iced out versions, you start getting involved in a couple of different bezels. It's kind of a nice kind of clean stainless steel face with a blue and black bezel. Not like a Batman's different. Um, you know, you have you know your standard uh, plain old black on black. And I think when you start looking at the ones that are just plain old black on black, I think for $32 for that particular one, I think that you're better suited if you're going to get something that's more uh, more of your standard style watch, not with the gemstones. If you're not looking for gemstones specific, I'd probably push you more towards like a Tyson or a Ligi because for the price point, you can pick those up for about $60 and you're getting a lot more watch for the money. Despite the fact that I had a few issues of mine that, that this does happen, you probably won't have any issues. If you do, let me know because you know this is good information to share with people who are looking to buy these watches. If every watch coming out of um, you know China from Lee G or Tiefson is defective, then you probably shouldn't buy those, obviously. But I, I chalk mine up to just some bad luck. But overall, I mean, this is still a really fun watch if you're looking for something uh, with those uh, faux gemstones or that crystal kind of iced out look without having to get something, again, that, that really looks cheap, you know. Um, I don't think that anybody wearing this on your wrist, nobody's going to... Um, call you out for thinking that's a $38 watch. And you know, what I really enjoy too is when, you know, I'm not really one of those guys who, uh, if somebody's like, whoa, that's quite a watch. I'm never really kind of the guy who tries to impress people with what I spent on things. I, I more try to impress people with what I, I guess, how little I spent on things. You know, I always appreciate when somebody's like, wow, that's a beautiful watch. You know, what, what'd that cost? You know, and I'm like, oh, this is like 50 bucks. They're like, what? You know, it's, uh, to me, it shows that you're a very frugal and it shows that you're a smart shopper when you can get a good value and get a good deal and still something that looks really nice. So that's just my opinion. You may be different. There's nothing wrong with that. Always buy what you like. It makes you happy. Um, you know, again, w when it comes to watches uh, like this, of course, if we compare this to a Rolex, there, there's going to be a lot of differences, right? When we compare an Invicta to a Rolex, there's going to be differences. But when we actually were, my best way to describe this is if you pick this watch up and you compare it side by side with an Evicta Pro Diver or Rolex, you're going to say, okay, I, I feel like th you can actually really, without having any information about brand names or watches, the average person probably would pick this up and say, all right, well, this Rolex just feels more substantial. This Invicta feels more substantial. If you were to do the same with an Invicta and a Rolex, the average person is probably going to be like, oh, I don't really know, without any kind of real brand recognition. Uh, so that's kind of the, the easiest way I can describe the difference here. It's just a little bit of weight difference and a little bit of tinniness. Um, this watch would be absolutely superior if it was actually done in a full 316 stainless steel and... Um, don't think a Seiko Edge 35. It would just be, you know, on a different level. But, uh, but still, for the price point, it's pretty amazing. And again, if you are looking to get this watch uh, with the gemstones, I recommend it. If you're not, I think there's a lot, a lot of other values out there that you can get for a comparable watch, just in a standard non-iced out uh, variation. But pretty cool. Another watch that I've been eyeballing. It's very similar to this. That I, I know is going to be a beautiful quality watch. I'm just kind of watching the price point. It's a new line that came out or new model that came out by uh, Techno Marine. Uh, they have genuine crystals on it. I don't know which crystals they are, but they're a little bit of cut above these. You probably wouldn't see notice a difference to the naked eye, but um, it's it's uh, done with blue and uh, clear stones and then clear stones all over the face. I forget how many stones are on it, but it's quite a bit. And it's done with that Invicta quality because Invicta does own um, Aquamarine or Technomarine, excuse me. Um, and uh, it, it's on my wish list. But right now, the price on it, it's about 150 I'm just kind of waiting. You know, Invicta's been using that 35% off coupon now for months. Uh, and the watch is 250 with 35% off. We'll see if I sell a different watch. I can add it to my collection. But I, I always like, you know, you guys might be saying a lot of times, gosh, you know, for a guy who doesn't really, uh, would never buy a Rolex, you sure have a lot of Rolex homage watches. And this is because that's what a lot of people make. You know, a lot of the brands out there um, who are making uh, inexpensive uh, fun watches like this, they always copy the Rolex Submariner. And the reason for that is because it's a basic, plain old Jane watch, in my opinion. So it's not something very difficult to copy. Uh, the look is very simple. It's clean, it's classy, it's timeless, and that's why a lot of companies do that. But um, I think this is a pretty fun watch, uh, fun enough that I, I do want to get it 
again with that all black bezel. Uh, let me just go ahead and pop this Pagani off the wrist and I'll show you uh, what this one looks like on the wrist to get an idea what it might look like on you. I like doing that in this channel. Um, I know when I started you know, collecting Invictus, uh, it was really helpful to see what this watch looks like on, on the person, right? So uh, as far as the, before I <laughs> move on here, uh, let me just give you a quick specifics. Uh, 4.3 millimeter, or 4.3 centimeter uh, case diameter, which equates to four, about 43 millimeters. Can watch case thickness is 1.25 centimeters. Watch band, two centimeters. Watch total length, 23 centimeters. Weight, 168 grams. I have not confirmed the weight, uh, but uh, maybe I will at a later date. Whole bunch of pictures on the Ally Express listing. I encourage you to check them out. And it has three ATMs of water resistance. And that's really about all the information they have on there. Again, link is in the description for you to check these out. Um, I have a seven inch wrist. I weigh about 178 pounds as of this morning. And uh, about five foot seven and a half. So this is what it looks like in a guy my size, my height, my weight. Of course, uh, 43 millimeter watch. Us Invicta fans have become desensitized where we think that this is a really small watch. And it's not. It's a good size watch. Anything, I think, um, personally, and you can wear whatever you like. But for me, I like to kind of stick within that 42 millimeters and up. Uh, generally, you know, I, I can't really even so much say anymore that I, you know, really only like 50s and above. You know, I used to kind of be like, oh, if it's not huge, I, I, I don't want to wear it. But I just, I've grown to have an appreciation for all different size watches. But I kind of draw the line at that, you know, 40-ish millimeter point. Once you start getting to the 38s, to me, they're just too small, and I don't like things that aren't really noticeable. You know, they just become um, like, why bother wear it? You know, I mean, if you're going to wear it just to tell time, but you're not going to like, it's not really an accessory. I think we wear accessories to stand out and to have other people notice them as well. And I always say, do what makes you happy, wear things for yourself. But I think it, I'd be lying to say that we all don't like, or at least myself, that, you know, I think most people are like this, that we like compliments and we like people to notice things. And, you know, it, all these things that you do to accessorize yourself, it's kind of just a reflection of your personality. I think that nothing's nicer than having a cool watch on your wrist. I know when I see dudes or I meet people or, you know, whoever, girl, guy, you know, whatever, work setting, grocery store, uh, whenever I look at somebody's wrist, I always notice their watch. And in today's day and age, um, you know, I think this is something really classy and kind of sophisticated about wearing a watch. I know it's not really sophisticated, but um, I don't know, in today's day and age with tech and phones and, and all the smart watches, um, you know, I, I think it's pretty cool people are actually wearing genuine watches, you know, and I think this is a really great piece, uh, you know, and, and this is something that whether you're a young guy and, you know, you don't have a, a lot of budget to uh, spend a lot of money on a watch, whether you're, you know, an older guy who just, you know, is frugal, whether you're uh, a collector like myself who just really appreciates uh, just having a new, unique watch in the collection. I mean, you know, I think it's a really great value. Um, you know, for the quality you're getting here, again, if it didn't have the stones, I believe for the $38 price point, paying a little bit of a premium because of the stones is, is okay. I think if you're buying this watch, again, without the stones, I think that the price point is a little bit even though $32 is pretty reasonable, but I think for you know, 20, 30 bucks more, you can get a watch that's a, a, just quite a step up. Again, with those, uh, you're not, you can get some Paganis if you, if you find one that's um, uh, not really too popular. Like I've got my Aqua Racer Pagani for about 50 bucks automatic, right? That was cheaper. Uh, the Gold Pagani, you know, you're looking for the standard Submariner style watches. You can pay anywhere from about $80 to, you know, 150-ish, depending on if you buy Ally Express, eBay, Amazon. The nice thing about the Paganis is that as, you know, with the way that we shop nowadays online, um, I love the deals you get. I love uh, a lot of these companies with the great return policy and customer service. But the downside is for if you're impatient like myself, uh, having to wait. And I think that that's the only downside to buying with Ally Express is that you really wait, you know, about three, three to four weeks on average to get your product, uh, which kind of sucks. Uh, with Amazon, you know, if they have it, if it's if it's Amazon fulfilled, uh, a lot of cases you're gonna get that in a few days, you know. So, um, it, but you do end up paying, I'd say on average, twenty to thirty dollars more by getting it through eBay or Amazon. Uh, at least with Amazon, you can kind of tell where it's coming from. Uh, with eBay, be careful because a lot of times you'll find stuff that is on eBay and you're paying a little bit more for it, and Pagani's are all over eBay, uh, and you'll go to order it, and make sure you look at where it's actually being shipped from. A lot of sellers can put 
uh, that the item's being fulfilled from wherever they want, right? And a lot of times I've had issues where you order something on eBay, you think it's coming from the United States, that's why you buy it, and next thing you know, it's actually coming from China. And nothing wrong with that, but we pay more in order to get it quicker because we're impatient. So, uh, but overall, you know, anybody who says that AliExpress is, oh, be careful, they're going to rip you off. I I've ordered all, I order all kinds of stuff from AliExpress all the time. You get some really great pr deals and really cool products. And, um, you know, I think that, uh, I, I've never had, I, I feel like in a lot of cases, the AliExpress customer service, their uh, process for if you do have a problem is in, in some cases uh, better than eBay and just as good as Amazon. So uh, feel rest assured buying from them. It's a pretty safe bet. And, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, yeah, it's another another great site for great watches. So check them on out. So again, guys, link in the description. Uh, again, 7-inch wrist, 178 pounds. Uh, just a pretty fun watch. And let me know what you think. Drop me a comment. As always, guys, thanks for watching the video. I do appreciate you taking the time to spend 20 minutes, 20 minutes with me. I hope you did. Subscribe to the channel. Click the link. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to help. And have a great day, folks. Take care.